Hello, everybody. This is Scott Woods coming to you live from the Bat Cave once again, located in a secure location somewhere in the Midwest. Look, what we're going to talk about is yet another resource for finding your freight lead so you could make more money as a freight broker agent or as a trucking company. Trucking companies want to find their own direct freight. Freight brokers want to find their own freight leads to give to trucking companies. Either way, this is going to help anybody that's watching this video. All right, this is Scott Woods. I'm the freight broker trainer, and let me teach you a lesson here. Now, if you look, I'm on good old Google again. Now, I want you to look at what I'm highlighting right there. I typed in the keywords poultry association. Now, I like working with associations, even though I'm not really working with association. I'm merely, um, if you will, taking advantage of a lot of the information that they put out there. Now, in order to make this video short and sweet and to the point, not waste too much of my time, or you don't have to spend that much of your time watching it, I've taken the liberty of searching it out what I wanted. Now, you're going to see there's an American Poultry Association. You're going to see there's an Iowa Poultry Association. You're going to see there's a U.S. Poultry Association. Well, I looked at the American Poultry Association website. Not a lot of good information for what I wanted. I have not taken a look at Iowa Association, the Iowa Poultry Association, because a lot of the times the state websites will have their state members. But what we're going for is a massive, if you will, cluster bomb hit. So I clicked on the link earlier of the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association's website. It's going to take me to their website. What we're looking for here, we're looking for the people that belong to this, this association. Birds of a feather. All right. You know, we're looking for the, the, the guys that are going to be uh, producers of eggs, chickens, turkeys, etc. like that. It's all got to be shipped on. And in this case, we've been talking about all these videos I'm making today, reefer freight, you know, ducks, what have you. Well, I'm going to be looking for their member list. So I'm going to go to About Us and look, member links. It's not always this easy, guys. These guys actually just stick it out there, which is good. But it's not always this easy when you're digging around these websites. You got to be half hound dog to be a good freight broker. Now, look. Here's the money. This is the money shot. All right. They've taken me in and given me a list of all their members with their website links. Now, you'll see I'm scrolling down here. There's almost a thousand resources on here. They're going to be potential leads now. And that's even going to morph out from there. Because what you're going to find here, you're going to find processors. You're going to find packers. You might find some guy selling software. Now, I'm not going to be calling the guy who's a member who produces software for them. I'm not going to call the people that are lawyers. So you're going to have to look at the basic description. But I am going to call the people that are food service companies, producers, things like that. Because I'm searching for reefer freight. I'm generating leads. And in this case, for the agents. I'm not generating leads for myself. I only work open top freight. But I'm wanting to give the agents something to do so they can make me some more money. All right, and you'll be wanting to do the same thing. Now, as I scroll down here, I'm just going to find a couple right here. And I saw one earlier as I was playing around, and I'm going to highlight these guys right there. Cal Mine Foods. Now, you'll see above them, there's Butterfield Foods Company. There's a Cal Mine Foods over here. Case Farms. Case Farms here. Because a lot of these places have multiple locations. Now, what I'm going to do is just actually highlight these two rows just for discussion. I have made more money off of three of these companies in those two cells right there than most of you will make in your career as a freight broker or freight broker agent. I want to point out the companies I'm talking about. Number one, Cargill. Huge. They have multiple facilities nationwide they've got at least they've got generally a facility in every state they've probably got 50 to 75 locations they're slaughterhouses for beef poultry and pork and they use a lot of reefers calmine foods i've worked with their locations in kentucky and arkansas and they have multiple locations where they are a slaughterhouse for chickens and also 
the uh, transport eggs out of another facility. So basically, they're going to work with layers. That's laying, you know, and they'll be distributing eggs to Walmart, things like that. But also the same thing with poultry. They'll take that poultry and distribute it to places that are, if you will, private labeling chicken. If you go into a supermarket, you might see Pilgrim's Pride chicken. You might see Gold Kiss chicken. You might see a um, Tyson Foods. But then you'll see the independent grocery store. Like if it's, a, if it's a Walmart facility, you'll see the Walmart chicken. The only difference in that chicken between Tyson and that Walmart chicken is Walmart's put their brand on it. And a place like Calmine Foods is probably one who packed it up. Now, what I would do from here, once I've found these guys, I'm going to go to their independent website. So I'm going to pick up Case Farms, for instance. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to open up another window. Case Farms is just has their own brand of chicken. Now, I will tell you that Case Farms has location, two locations that I know of in North Carolina and one in Ohio. Tremendous reefer freight. They have a lot of freight that's moving. They have an independent customer like a grocery store chain might order a bunch of chicken from them or they might transport it themselves. Now, here's a word I want you guys to remember. When they have a customer, let's say they, their customer is Winn-Dixie Supermarkets. They might have Winn-Dixie Supermarkets as a customer, but Winn-Dixie will transport their own freight. They're not going to use their own trucks. What generally they're going to do is they're going to, they have a logistics department that sets up their trucking for them, no matter if it's picking up at Case Farms or not. That's known as customer routing now if you get a bit a good enough relationship built up with somebody like K case farms one of these traffic managers over there he might float your name to his customers to arrange the trucks they won't always do that you've got to really have a good association with it now you'll see what i'm going to do here in this case farms i'm going to hit locations so it's going to show us where they're at in the u.s now each location you know they're generally going to be controlled by a different traffic manager. Not always, but I've worked with these guys quite a bit, so I could just tell you generally they are. You're going to see they have locations, three locations in North Carolina and two in Ohio. They're still in Goldsboro. I'm just clicking the dots. Troutman, that's a new location I'm not even aware of. And they have Morganton. That's one I've been working with for a long time. Now, you're also going to see Canton, Ohio, and Winesburg, Ohio. They're going to have inbound and outbound freight coming out of these different facilities. All right? Now, as I said, as a freight broker or as a trucking company, these are your direct shippers. These are your producers. These are the ones that are going to need the trucks all the time. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, and I'm going to give you another way to to work this all right let's say you're a trucking company let's say you're a freight broker in how to maximize your revenue all right you see the location of the united states well let's just say you're bringing down and i'll give you a hypothetical load let's say you're bringing down potatoes out of wisconsin and wisconsin's always looking for trucks to ship potatoes and where, where are they going they're going to Maxton, M-A-X-T-O-N, North Carolina. Now, for those of you that do not know, Maxton, North Carolina, is the home of a huge Campbell soup facility. They are bringing in potatoes all the time for their soups. Now, as a trucking company, as soon as you get down to Maxton and unload, what are you going to be looking to do? You're going to be looking to reload. So that means you're going to be calling a broker to try to find some freight or if you start searching for freight the way we're talking about, you know, looking for these production facilities, they could probably use that reefer as he comes down here and you could get a good paying reload, maybe going into Ohio, maybe going back to Chicago, etc. Now, freight brokers, here's how you profit from it. That trucking company who you just brokered those potatoes to out of Wisconsin, who's bringing them down to Maxton, North Carolina, you want to keep offering him freight options.
all right? Because the more options you offer him, the more money you're going to make because you've got that truck rolling. It's almost like you're dispatching him. You know, if you offer a truck a load before he unloads, 80% of the time they're going to take it, all right? Well, this is how, you know, we do this as a freight broker just to keep that truck running as long as we can. Look, guys, that's going to show you how to use these industry associations to find more freight. Now, what I would do is continue to work it down here. I would go to the independent state associations, you know, Illinois, Iowa, and just break it down even further to see their member, member processing plants because they might belong to the state association, not the national association. Plus, there might be independent links to other associations for like beef or or pork or or egg boards or whatnot on their sites guys this is just one more way we continue to work down and find our shippers all right one more way that we find them guys if you want to learn how to move real freight if you want to learn how to make money take one of my classes i am the top freight broker trainer in america i move freight myself I'm not like these yahoos here on YouTube that are just blowing smoke. www.freightbrokertrainer.com www.freightbrokertrainer.com I'm with Transportation Training Group. This is Scott Woods. I'm signing off from the Batcave. You guys have a great day.